Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Gravity pressing is a relatively new discovery that allows you to press together multiple items using gravity. Divlogs using gravity pressing to develop a new spacecraft that could propel the Korok space program into the future. To understand this build, we need to go back a month. A user by the name of 2B Plays posted a prototype vehicle that used two cannons nudged together to create an Orion Drive. The theory was simple. The two cannonballs would instantly hit each other when fired, creating an immediate explosion. Traditionally, Orion builds used to have to fire the cannons into a chamber. Divlogs used that concept and pressed two cannons together using gravity pressing. Now we know how it works, I'll speed it up a bit. At this stage, Divlog is nearing the height limit. This is a huge breakthrough for the KSP. I always knew it would be the Orion Drive that got Koroks into space. Hunter Games made a freezing machine that makes killing enemies a breeze. This is one of those rare examples of a basic build that is insanely powerful, worth the auto build slot. I'm frantically checking my notes here, and I've got nothing. It's got four wheels, for some reason. I can't stop watching. Not a thief has made what looks like an escape pod from an alien ship. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. This is Teepman's Model B Doohickey. Teep claims it's the dumbest build yet, but I think it's surprisingly good. He's using a nudge steering column that sits in the middle of the doohickey. Nudging something this far is a painful process, so mad respect. This took 19 seconds from the first laser. The 
fierce laser has been fired, and this little guy only joins in around 17 seconds in. The laser is pulsing at around 1 pulse per second, so it isn't seeing much of a DPS increase. When it gets in its sweet spot, it can hit 1.7 PPS. Now for today's war crime of the day. Zelda Watch Hands made his own game of catch, Korok not included. <laughs> 42 is back and showing us the wing's hidden potential. When you use your imagination, anything is possible with the wing. Here's where things take a very uh, sinister turn. We couldn't end on Korok torture, according to Mrs. Dom. <sighs> so here's a lovely merry-go-round he built for the Koroks. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.